Up there, it's Mr. Hunter. He wants to see you. A key piece of evidence at Hunter's original trial was the yacht he used to import his drugs. I got torch last night. If Hunter can destroy police evidence... He can target the witnesses, too. Where are you going, boy? I'm one of two police officers undercover in a maximum security prison surrounded by some of the country's most vicious cons. I have a right to be paranoid. <laughs> We've designed this op to give you maximum protection. I bet you said that to your witness as well. Next thing we know, he's swinging from a beam. You've got to get Debbie to a safe location. She could be next on Hunter's hit list. Don't you know this is our estate? You walk through here, you pay. Give me your wallet. They're moving Debbie to a safe house. We're up against it. And the SIO wants you to get some technical into Hunter's cell. Someone on your squad's tipping Hunter off as well. This is my chess master, my personal tutor. What did the chess master say? He said something in the chat box. It didn't quite make sense. Black Bishop to Knight 3. Yeah. It's chess. Where are you? You've got to get inside your opponent's head. <clears throat> You think I'm soft, don't you, O'Brien? We've only two weeks before Hunter's appeared. Without some extra evidence, this whole thing could fall apart. I've faced Hunter before. He doesn't scare me, but I can't put my kids at risk. Hey! Come on! Hey, there's no way no, 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 no. Down. Hunter's got to have one of the prison officers on his payroll. That's how he communicates with the outside world. Wherever the leak's coming from, it's close and it's permanent. 20 million. How much of that would you want to sell Debbie out? I'm sick of you chasing town while I rot in here. Calm down. We're nearly there. Go! Go! It's Gavin. Remember? I'm the toughest I have listened to you. Set up if ever I saw one. Thank God you weren't hurt. Yeah? Well, that's what you wanted, wasn't it? You primed Dundas. I walked into the trap. I could have been killed, but I wasn't. Look, I'm going to put you on suspension, Terry, till I get to the bottom of this. Nick my wheels. No one's gonna kill me. Wait, you got another tenner? Mm. What do you mean no? Give me your wallet. Don't have one. Give me your wallet. No! What do you mean no? Give me your wallet. No! You're not gonna use that, are you? Why don't you come here and find out? your wife doesn't take the stand against Hunter, then he's free to continue intimidating and murdering. And if she does take the stand, me and the kids will be on the run forever in fear of our lives. Look, you've got to trust us. We know what we're doing. Then what happened to our other witness? We can guarantee your safety. You can't guarantee us anything! Look, will you shut up, both of you? Look, I didn't sign up for this, Debbie. I know how tough this is. No, you don't. Can we at least talk about this? No, I'll only talk to Garth. Mistake. I'm gonna make you wish you never been born. Bring it on. Oi, you two. Hold on. Oi, shit. Oi, come back here. I can't believe that he's turned someone in the squad. As soon as I let on, I was undercover in the prison. Word went winging back to Hunter. The bastard's using his son somehow through a code involving chess. These people are supposed to be protecting me and my family, and I can't trust anyone. Except you. Yeah? How do you know I'm not on the take? Listen, you might be great at playing a criminal, but I know it's only skin deep. You're saying I'm no good at my job? <gasps> <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter if I take the stand. 
It doesn't matter if Hunter's in prison or out. He can still get at people. Which is why we keep after him and get to his money. Without his millions, Hunter's just another sad lifer watching his back in the showers. You haven't got a family. You don't know what it's like. All right, maybe I don't, but Liam does. Liam? Liam Catman? He's not involved in this up. Only me and Davis know, and now you. So now you know we've doubled the chance of getting Hunter, and I'm going to nail his link on the crime squad. How are you going to do that? Oh, I think a misinformation campaign, don't you? So what's the verdict? Will she take the stand? It's 50-50. She's still weighing it up. Any luck with the banks? We're sorting through suspicious transactions from his known accounts, but no sign yet of anything resembling 20 million. Keep looking. It could be the only way to stop Hunter walking free. Why is that? Debbie's backing down, refusing to testify. Bastard's gonna win his appeal. I'm going to bed now. You and your team could get to know my family pretty well. You could be protecting us for years. I'm going to take the stand against Hunter. Stupid, Mr. Hunter. Who wouldn't be tempted by a reduced sentence to split of any assets recovered? If you want to sniff out the grass, there is only one obvious candidate. Who's butted up to you big time in the last few months? Why are you so sure it's Kurt Shaw? Because he's always talking about his money. He's talking about offshore this and repatriating that. We don't know jack shit about him, apart from what he tells us. If Kurt Shaw is undercover, then they'd have to give him a false background, a false criminal record, all of that stuff. And there's one thing they can't fake, and that's a son. Have you ever seen a photograph of him? No. Has he done a visit? I bet he doesn't even exist. I bet he hasn't even got a son. I bet he hasn't even got a son. I bet he hasn't even got a son. Norman Stanley Carshaw. In for me, in for me. Oh. So why do I get all the crap jobs, eh? Because you are in your element. We haven't got long. Debbie's thinking of pulling her evidence. Are you any closer to finding a leak in the crime squad? Well, I've set some traps. For, you know, you got anything good of Hunter on tape? Oh, he's checking me out, yeah. Doesn't believe I have a son. Tricky. They've confiscated his prison earnings too, so that should give us some leverage. Right, you've got to get Max in here. I need to see him to keep my story straight. Come on. You can't use Max for that. You think it's better it's made an orphan? No way, Liam. I'm but not doing it. I'm on my own in here. You're not on your own. Don't ask me. What do I do what I say? I need to see my son. Yeah? You need to let him see you like this. Hiya. Sorry I'm late. Do you fancy a drink? I thought it was an emergency, not an invitation to a booze up. Memo to self, never mix business and pleasure with the force shrink. How many times do I have to say it? I am not a psychiatrist. You're a psychologist. Careful, you're developing an inferiority complex. What's this about, Garth? Do I need excuses to have a chat with you? Don't try sweet-talking me. You said there's something important about Max. It is. He's open to organise a visit. Yeah, well, I'm sure you two can both come up with some lie to get Liam out. No way, it's too dangerous. He was wondering whether you could bring Max to the prison. To the prison? 
Is there an echo out here? Oh, I'm not getting involved in any of your undercover activities. Oh, listen, it'll be in a private room. You wouldn't need to see any of the other prisoners. I'm not doing it, Garth. Come on, you're supposed to be supporting Liam and his family. Yeah, and that doesn't include... But he's been banged up you. for months, all right? It's getting to him. I'm worried about his mental state. Oh, are you saying he's not fit for active duty? No, I'm saying that he needs to be reminded about who he is. He needs to see his son. Sophie, I know we're not always on the same page. We know a lot of the time, Garth. We're not on the same planet. Well, that's great. Where's your mum? Uh, mum's upstairs. Do you want me to get her? No, 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 that's all right. It's you I wanted to talk to. So, uh, how's the chess going? Do you have another move for me? I'm sorry, Dad. I've got to do my homework. One game a day sharpens the mind. It's mental exercise, Neil. You know what the most important muscle in your body is? Your mind. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm tired. You're tired? You mean what? When does that happen? Son, you don't know the meaning of the word tired. Come on, what do you think it's like for me? You're locked up in here all day. Did you check it with your chess master? Dad, do I have to do this? Please. He had a knife. But he got off with a caution. White, queen, two, king, two. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, it could be classic attention-seeking behavior. And he's written something in the chat box. And whose attention is he seeking? White resigns. Yours. White resigns. Are you sure? Look, I'll go and see him. OK. Fantastic news. Nice one, Neil. See you soon. I love you. Yes! Good news, Vince. Oh, yeah. A couple of days and I'm out of here. Vince, what happened? Keep this under your hand, but it looks like that undercover policewoman is going to withdraw her evidence against me. Well, that's great. My conviction will be overturned. Cheers, Bill. Well, don't forget your old mates. I'll tell you something, Lee. A couple of weeks, this whole place will just be a bad dream. A few problems at home, Lee. You what? On the phone, mate, you seem a bit distressed. That's because I was downwind from you. You can't pretend this never happened. I know this is out of character, Max. You don't even know me. And it's none of your business. Well, it is my business to provide support for your dad. And ever since your mother died, that includes helping out with his family. Are you his girlfriend? No. I'm a psychologist. Counselor. You think I'm mental or something? He just wanted me to keep an eye on you, that's all. I've told him about the knife. He'll kill me. He's just going to want to get to the bottom of what happened. Do you want to see him? Yeah. But you are going to have to tell him a whole lot more than you told me in the police, OK? Fine. Can I go now? Max. What about Hunter? Anything? Well, he's convinced he's going to win his appeal. Good. Then I think I've nailed his man on the crime squad. You sure about this? He's the only one who I told Debbie wouldn't be taking the stand. We're going to have to set a trap for that. Then get on with it. Hello, Fraser. Alistair. Sorry to disturb you. Just thought I'd let you know the latest. Good news. I've spoken to Debbie, and I think I've convinced her to change her mind. She will take the stand against Hunter. Oh. oh. Yeah, well, that's excellent. Just thought I'd let you know. Yeah, great, thanks. That's all the evidence we need. <sighs> One of the brightest officers we've had for years. Yeah, great mind for fraud. I just don't get it. Why would he want to work for Hunter? 
Oh, I don't know. How about a slice of 20 million quid? You know how many times I put that guy up for promotion? What, and he didn't get it? Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. You've got money, revenge. What more motivation do you want? Let's do it. I didn't mean to disturb you. No, I saw him. The relevance. Late. Very late. Too late. How's it going? What do you think? We're not accusing you of killing our witness, but you must have passed on information on his whereabouts. No comment until my lawyer is present. He's been doing this all night. We know. Also logged at the safe house when Debbie's dog was killed. Look at him. He just doesn't care. We also know you received messages back from the prison. Who is your contact on the prison staff? No comment until my lawyer is present. Okay, let's cut the crap. This isn't standard procedure. Quick word off the record. We just wanted to thank you for all the hard work you put in for Vincent Hunter. I don't know how much he paid you to betray my family. Although we've already found 200,000 in your foreign accounts. But you see, none of that money's gonna be of much use to you, is it? Because for every penny you spend trying to protect yourself in prison, Hunter can spend more. Bribing officers to reveal your location, Hiring hitmen to take you out? Why would he do that? Because we're going to let him think that you were working for us all along. Prison walls aren't strong enough, not with the kind of cash that Hunter can command. You sure you don't want to tell me something? Who else is on his payroll? Oh, well. Each man's free to choose his own path to hell. When are you seeing Hunter? Today. Yep, just, just a minute. Morning, campers. What? You don't seem your normal, cheerful self this morning. Not cheerful. Sure. Mm, well, at least I'll be getting out of here in a couple of days, which is more than can be said for you. Fell away from the door. Oh, uh, how's your mum? Pretty much the same. Oh, well, that's depressing. Just like the headlines. I don't need that anymore. Now we've got Fraser and Needham, Hunter's conviction is safe. You and Liam can pull out. Hey, How do you reckon that? Without his eyes and ears, Hunter has no connection to the outside. He'll lose his appeal. Yeah, but he's still got his 20 million. He can still get to Debbie. Come on, boss, you've got to have a plan B. You're just firefighting. You snuff out a problem in one corner, it'll just flare up in another. The only way to stop Hunter for good is by getting to his money. What do you think we've been trying to do? Spent hundreds of man hours trying to get to his funds. I can get to them in less than a day. How's that? You let him run. That's your plan B? Yeah. B for breakout. You're not seriously suggesting. If Hunter escapes, the first thing he'll do is run for his money. That's crazy. I know it's crazy, but it's so crazy it's smart. Hunter won't see it coming. Trust me. You better take off your jacket and tie. Girl said you've got to be unidentifiable. You've not talked to anyone except him and your dad, okay? So it's like an undercover operation. Need him? How did we miss that? 
Always look for the weakest suspect. You're too busy engrossing Gannon's cleavage. Shut it. Hunter's appeal scuppered them. It's not going to be enough, though, is it? No, with his fortune still intact, he'll just start again at another prison. Now we need him to lead us to his money. What, are you going to let Hunter loose? Yep. That's yeah, madness. Sure. Looks like you've got a visitor, too. God knows why anyone would want to visit you. Any valuable items, money, cards, phone, must be checked in here. It is expressly forbidden to pass anything to any prisoner. No knives either. There you go, son. I thought this would be a private visit. Would you like to step this way, please? What's that smell? That is the unique aroma of cabbage sweat and despair. What have these people done? Murder, terrorism, knife fights, you know. In the social. Miss him. Looks like the shrinks with him. Good luck, Lee. So, what was it you said? His son doesn't exist? Could have sworn it was Kershaw. With friends like you, I don't need enemies. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Come here. Oh, come on, come here. Oh, God, I missed you. What are you doing here? I'll tell you all about it later. Where's Neil? He's ill. He couldn't come. Sounded all right on the phone. What's going on? Because you promised me you would never use Neil in your activities. What happened? What are you talking about? I've seen it. He used some stranger on the internet playing chess, passing on messages. I've stopped him. He's not allowed to play on it. Yeah, but have you done something wrong? No, no, of course not. Set being away from you too long. So what have you been up to? Jenny. What did the messages say? I don't know. Don't you understand? It's about my appeal. Then see your lawyer. Get someone else to be your messenger boy, not me. You stupid bitch! And all you do is try to understand how you play yourself in bitch! Look, I didn't mean to. It's just... It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> they wouldn't leave me alone. I couldn't take it anymore. No, they pushed you into a corner, right? It just wasn't the smartest way to get out of it. I'm so stupid. Hey, don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah. Visit the time's over. We've got to go. I'll be home in a couple of days. Come here. I love you. It's been good. Come on. Come on, Max. I'll see you out. We need to talk. Plan B ready? Be for breakout. Tell him he's got another privilege removed, and tonight. He eats in his cell. Seeing your father like that in prison, what did it make you feel like? Don't break the law. You'll just end up in a shell like this. What's the problem, Mr. Hunter? This isn't like you. I want you to get another message out for me. This time I need you to call a number. No! Alastair Fraser. Just ask him the question, what is White's next move? Have you got that? What? You've never asked me to do this before. I've never asked anyone to kill a sick old lady, but that's all the first time! Max, can you just wait in there for a minute? Have you any idea how many rules you've broken by doing this? That's what I'm paid for. You told me this was going to be a private visit, and instead we're paraded in front of everyone. Yeah, I didn't know that was going to happen. I know you well enough to tell when you're lying to me. You better not be using me as part of some cover story. You really think I'd do that? And in the meantime, you subjected Max to a traumatic experience. I mean, how do you think a kid that age is going to deal with that? Max is all right.
That's a cash show. You receiving me? You're miles away. I want to talk about it. Things get you in here, Lee. Shit happens on the outside. You get to hear about it, and you're powerless to do anything. It's my son. Not only is the ex trying to stop access, she's now going to take him off to Canada. That's tough. Yeah, she's got some new bloke. They're off to Vancouver. And now the courts have appointed some psychologist to evaluate me. And what are her grounds? Uh, mental cruelty, violent temper. It's all a pack of lies. She's not getting away with this, though. No, I'm going to get out, I'm going to track her down, get my son back. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'd do the same in your position. But I've been cultivating one of the screws. He's going to get some funds from my offshore accounts. And then I've got an escape plan. It's perfect. Mm, nothing's perfect, Lee. Well, you could be in on it if you wanted. I'm not that desperate. You've got a call. We've traced it to the prison. We're recording everything. If you want to be housed in a vulnerable person's unit, you know what you've got to do. Should resign. Black should resign. I need to write. Hello? Hello? Mr. Cooking. Well, you should eat something. Doesn't lack of food upset your blood sugar? Yeah. This shit upsets my stomach. Well, don't let the bastards grind you down. What happens if you don't eat? You'll be in a coma in about six hours. Can you fix the reading, then? Why? I'm just thinking it through. Well, I'll get you two something to drink. It's all right, it's on me. You'll need a bit then. Oh, do you mind? We're talking. Yeah, right. Come on. I'll nip this from the art class. Latex glue mixed with a bit of red paint. So what's that for? Planning a present for your boy? Yeah. I'm going to give him his dad back. Blue time is right. 
We'll get the blue light treatment. I'll fast through it out of here and we're gone for good. Yeah, but we need the right two screws on duty in the day. Yeah, I'll check the rotor. Enjoy your dinner, sir. I thought Chef excelled himself with the entree today. What's wrong with you today, Hanson? Too much work, not enough play. What I really need is a long holiday in Bangkok. A couple of holes, big block of spliff. Everyone needs their place in the sun, don't they? Is he coming on to me? Now, I've got Hanson all squared up. I'll give him a charge card from one of my accounts. Oh, you trust him with that? Well, I'll put a credit limit on it. I only raise it to the full 50 grand when I'm out. You could do the same thing. Just a minute, Lee. Why offer me the great escape? We'll send this for you. I lied about how much I was worth. I'm in debt, up to me eyeballs. I'm funding this all on tick. So what do I come in? Well, I was hoping if I got you out, you could see your way clear to subbing me. But in return, I'll help you get your funds offshore, somewhere where the old bill can't touch them. Personal greed. Now, that I understand. Now we've got something to talk about. What are we going to do about O'Brien? Well, two's company. No, I didn't mean that. You know the travelling chest I've got? I found a bug inside. So who put it there? Who else uses it? Exactly. He knows too much, but I know a couple of lads will sort him out permanently. They look like suicide. No, no. We, it could be useful to us tomorrow. I'm not sure I can do this, Mr. Hunter. Martin, you don't have to do anything, all right? Just be on shift tomorrow lunchtime. If they catch me trying to help you out, I could end up in here. Don't worry, you'll be OK. Tell you what, if anything does happen, then I promise I'll take care of your mother. Now, you know I'm a man of my word, Martin. I'll take care of your mum. Right, we're on. Tomorrow morning, 8.30. Need him as a second officer. Well, he's got no choice, has he? Everything's going to go wrong with us. And you and Liam are staying so close to entrapment. Yeah, well, that's not important. I mean, we're not going to trial. Look, the whole point of this operation now is to get to Hunter's funds. We've got to run with this. Mm. He'll be setting pace. He could lead you both into all kinds of danger. Yeah, but we've covered all the angles, and you'll be in constant radio contact. But I would like permission to be armed. That shouldn't be necessary. Yeah, but as you say, it's Hunter who's setting the pace. What about his wife and kid? You don't want them getting tangled up in this. They may be Hunter's family, but you don't want them getting hurt. Well, we'll have to tee them up. Debbie, would you be up for it? Yeah, anything's got to be better than sitting here doing nothing. Good girl. <laughs> what now? I feel like we're flying by the seat of our pants. It's always like this working for you, love. What do you say, Debbie? Yep. tree cried to the nightingale to press closer against the thorn. Press closer, little nightingale, cried the tree, or the day will come before the rose is finished. So the nightingale pressed closer against the thorn, and the thorn touched her heart, and a fierce pang of pain shot through her. Bitter, bitter was the pain, and wilder and wilder grew her song, for she sang of the love that is perfected by death, of the love that dies not in the tomb. I can't read anymore, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can hear me. But I'm tired, man. I'm very tired. I didn't mean to let you down. 
trying to be a good son. I'm trying to do all I could for you. Hello. Can I help you? I'm Lydia Horsfield from Guildford Social Services. Oh. I need to talk to you about your son. Do you mind if I come in? What's this about? Well, we've had a call from the family courts. Your husband's concerned about your son's behaviour. It's just a brief chat. You have early care, Sean? I couldn't wait to hear the sound of your sweet voice. You should get out, Mum. You can say that again. So your husband bought the property and provides you with maintenance. What is this? What's Vince been saying? He's applying for custody of your son. Um, I've been sent by the court to make a preliminary report. Well, how can he do that? He's in prison. Oh, I was led to believe he'd be out next week on appeal. I think I'd better talk to my lawyers about this. I wouldn't do that. Look, I'm not from social services. I'm here to protect you from your husband. What are you talking about? If you cooperate, you'll keep custody of your son. You'll both be safe. Right, I think you better leave. Look, Vince is a very dangerous man, and his wealth you makes him almost under false unstoppable. Pretenses. You lied to me. Now get out. Okay, okay. No more lies. This is the truth, mother to mother. I have two daughters. Your husband is willing to kill them. Without your help, maybe he still will. Look, if he's prepared to go that far, what makes you think he won't do the same to you? Do you remember that chess set you gave me? I found this inside. What is it? Both brain cells are out. What's it look like? No, no, boss, you don't think that are. What about the other week they had that fight and Kershaw all kicked off in the canteen? Hmm? I mean, you were playing chess with him. You could have put that in there then. I can't let him get away with that. Well, that's what I've been trying to tell you. He's your prime suspect. I mean, you want me to do something. Put a brew on. Look, come on. We've got to talk about this. We've got to work together. Hey, where's Martin got to? I don't know, but he's not liking to be late. I'll give him a call. Folks, are we? He's not feeling well. It's another bit dizzy. Sick. So look at your blood sugar monitor. Where's your backup supply of insulin? Look at him. Just a minute. Needham's a no-show. We're one short for the ride. Shit. Mr. Hurst, let Kershaw through with you. Get back! Clear space! 
his blood shook his way down. Where's Vincent's guy? It's too late for that. We can't deal with this here. Get him on his side. Make sure he doesn't swallow it. If he goes into a coma, he's going to need intensive care. Well, go and call the medical orderlies. Everyone back to their cells. Lockdown. Up, ready to go. Well, I'll come with you. I thought you said you were under fact. Can we just get these two to the hospital? Come on. How are they going to get out of this one? Go! Doctor, can you hear me? I'm taking you to the hospital. You're going to be okay. How's he doing? I don't know. He won't let me touch him. Can you not give him some morphine or something? The best thing you can do is get him to the hospital quick. Alpha India, 3-0. Two minutes away from the rendezvous. OK, it's not far now, right? Hunter, what are you doing? Put your mask back on. What are we going to do about that? He's faking it. This is a breakout. Stop the vehicle. Stop the vehicle now. Gosh, I'm all right. You can let go now. Pull in over there. Oh, what are you doing? Right, get a move on. Get up! Right, get it. Right, do exactly what we say. Quick, tape them up. We haven't got time! Oh. Use this. No. Why don't I get a jacket? Because you're our patient if anyone stops us. Oh, shit. We can't leave her like that. Why didn't you put her out of action? I'll deal with her. Sit down and shut up. I know your lips are sealed, OK? Just keep your head down until we've gone. The two policemen in the front who are feigning unconsciousness will get you back to HQ, all right? Lads, here's the keys to the vehicle and her cuffs. Good knowing you, Katie. Come on, took you so long. I was always very fond of Katie, all right? Yeah, we'll have to make sacrifices. I know. Come on, stop pissing around. Let's go. Target proceeding 3-0 westbound. Keep a two-vehicle cover and don't get pinged. Do you have to have that window open? Smell that? That's freedom. Prefer the smell of money. Don't worry, you'll get your dues. So we're gonna divvy up, then go our separate ways, yeah? Take a right, next junction. Where are we going? Car crushing yard, a couple of miles away. Oh, very glad. I was expecting at least a Learjet to Bermuda. Don't you ever shut up. No. after the place while I've been away. Was this your place? Well, I saw him a few years ago. Then I sold it on to Henry, in theory. Henry, I want that car getting rid of. Hey, come on. I've got beaches to surf and women to buy. I 
I don't like him. As soon as he gets to that airport, they'll nab him and he'll scream like a stuck pig. Come on, will ya? Click the bastard. Not to. Oh, don't come out of the car. Get claustrophobic. Yeah, oh, don't worry about claustrophobic. Don't do it, please. Oh. Let's go. Oh, what's in there? Wake up, will you? Today is not a good day to die! Our future. You've broken it. Come on, come on. Let me get this shit up. Don't ask so many questions, Neil. Just do it. What's that, Dad? What's that, Dad? These, Neil. Are called bearer bonds. You take these to any bank anywhere in the world. And they promised to pay the bearer one million pounds each. This is our future. This is freedom. We're getting a plane out of here today. No, we're not coming. Will you look at this, Jenny? It's 20 million pounds. What more do you want? I want a normal life, Vince. That's what I want. Just you and me, Neil. Vince, no! Did you not tell them I was here? Drop the weapon, Vince. Shut up. Right. I will transport out of here to a country without extradition. Right? And then I'll think about dropping the gun. It's your own son, for God's sake. I am not going back to prison not without my money. I might as well die, and I will take him with me! Back off. Give him some room. Look at you. Tell these guys to back off! How can you let your son see you like this? Think of his future. I am his future! No, no you're not! Sunshine, 
This is for you. That's nice. A cagoule. It's not a cagoule. Well, get your bag. I'm taking you to school. One of the top brands as well. I'm Just sorry. Nice visit. Bag going after you. No. Let's go. Wait till my mates see it. I'm sorry, I'm old-fashioned. I prefer a school uniform. Well, there's no reason he can't wear both. All right, Garth? Hey, how's it going, Chief? And where's the car? We're walking. Come on. get one phone call a week. Neil! Yeah! How are you doing? Please check and try again. Yeah? Yeah, I'm okay, yeah. Please check and try. No, I'm, do I'm doing fine. I'm okay. Please check and try again. Yeah. Yeah, I miss you too. Please check Yeah. Try again. Don't let her make you a victim, Max. You mean you're not coming with me? Well, I can't be here to protect you all the time. Well, I've got to fight my own battles. You'll be all right. It's the first rule of undercover. Blend in with your environment. Keep that covered, all right? And if they spot you, just front it up. Well, you've got to start them early. I'm not sure I wouldn't follow in my footsteps. He's already better at undercover than you. Pretty convincing as a jailbird. Convincing? No, pretty maybe. Half the cons were after you. Oh, so that's why you were jealous. I ruined your chances. Uh, Katie was the girl for me. You had a little soft spot for her, didn't you? Well, I wasn't soft. Anyway, why should you get all the girls? The things we have to do for this job, eh? Mm. The next time I'm using the gun, okay. Why? Because you can't shoot straight wearing glasses. Oh, thank you.